Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the session. I see a couple of you are still connecting, which is great. Um, we'll just wait, you know, maybe 30 seconds, one minute, just to let everyone join who is supposed to join. Um, we were expecting, I think, about 30 people to come um, to today's session, but obviously I don't think everyone will turn up. But in the meantime, do pop into the chat where you're dialing in from. We always like to know. Uh, before we begin, my name's David. I'm from the Lowy International School. I'll begin today's session by giving you an overview about Tel Aviv University. Then I'll hand over to Jennifer Gottlieb, who is our study abroad director. Um, and Jennifer will present the study abroad options here at TAU for spring 2024. Um, we are recording this session just so we can send it out to everyone afterwards who wasn't able to, to attend. But what we normally do is after the presentations, we switch off the we switch off the recording to allow for any Q and A sessions. You can then answer questions openly with your camera and your mic on, and um, without the session being recorded. So we'll just wait thirty more seconds. We were expecting people from thirty two people actually registered for the session today. Okay. Okay. So welcome, I think we'll begin. Um, so welcome to the session, everyone. We're here to talk about study abroad spring 2024. My name's David. I'm from the Lowy International School on campus. We are the hub for all international students and international programs on campus. Um, I'm going to begin by playing a very short video that sums up um, our philosophy here that we call Taoism. So let me just play that. Tel Aviv University International, the only place in the world where you can study Taoism. What is Taoism? Well, it's a local philosophy that says the best way to study is through experience. Understand with your head, learn with your feet. The best way to study a multicultural society is to live in one. Be ready with your elevator pitch. You never know who you'll meet on campus. If you want to learn the best marketing strategies, just go to the local market. Reading about the Startup Nation? Write your own chapter. Study literature in the place that inspired the bestseller of all time. You can't resolve a conflict until you witness one. At TAU, there is always room for more questions and 400 labs to find the answers. Come experience the wisdom of Taoism at Tel Aviv University International, where first-class education meets a second-to-none lifestyle. Okay. So that's our philosophy, which we call Taoism. And it's basically the philosophy that, you know, you study best through experience, you learn with your head, you understand with your feet, and learning happens everywhere, and sometimes when you least expect it. So when you come to Tel Aviv University, you don't just learn in a campus, in a, in a, in a, in a classroom, you also learn on a campus, in a city, in a country, 
all of these things will, you know, transform you and give you this wonderful transformative experience that we call Taoism. So this gives a good snapshot of Tel Aviv University and who we are. We're Israel's largest and most diversified institution of higher education with nine faculties, over 30,000 students, 1,200 researchers, 125 schools and departments across the sciences, humanities, and the arts. We have one campus, 220 acres of green spots just north of downtown Tel Aviv, um, nine faculties, 400 labs. We are truly a multidisciplinary institution um, of academic excellence. We also have over 2,000 international students that come from 100 countries. They come from all over the world, from you know, LATAM, from Europe, from the North, North America, from Asia, Australia, um, from all over. And we're also based in Tel Aviv, the second largest technology sector in the world. And Tel Aviv University is very much at the innovation hub of the startup nation. You also heard in the film that we have 400 labs and 130 research institutions. We also have three and a half thousand projects annually and 15,000 international alumni. So we really, really are one big, big campus. Um, I won't go into all of them, but obviously we're very proud of our ranking. As I said, we're Israel's largest and most comprehensive institution of higher education. We're ranked first in Israel by the Times Higher Education and Taiwan rankings as a global top 100 innovation university. Um, we're also ranked fifth in the world for entrepreneurship. We're up there right after leading American universities like Stanford, MIT, UC Berkeley and Harvard. And we're the only non-US institution to make that top 10 list. Similarly with where the um, uh, top 10 schools producing VC backed founders. And again, we're the only non-US institution to make that top 10 list. Um, also, 55% of the campus population is women. Uh, two years ago, the university set up its very first Equality and Diversity Commission. It's headed up by Professor Netta Zeev, and their remit, it's clear, is to increase equality and opportunities and diversity for everyone um, on campus. So just a quick snapshot of you know, our rankings and, and our position. Um, as I mentioned before, we're a big multidisciplinary institution of academic excellence and our impact is felt large and wide. We have nine faculties and that means we have a vast range of research and teaching fields that create unique and fascinating connections between disciplines that are not traditionally connected to each other. And that alone provides infinite possibilities for, for academic creativity and research. Um, you also heard at the beginning, 130 research institutions, 400 labs, world-class faculty and nine professors. Every year our students perform over 300,000 hours of community service. And we're also based here in Tel Aviv. I don't know if any of you have been to Tel Aviv before, um, but it's a pulsating, vibrant city. It's been called the um, Israeli cult it's, it's Israel's cultural and commercial capital. It's also been called the Mediterranean capital of cool by the New York Times. It's a non-stop city with amazing beaches, restaurants, cafes, bars, museums, art galleries. There's also over two and a half thousand startups um, in Tel Aviv. The tagline of Tel Aviv is non-stop and our tagline here at the International School is non-stop discovery. So we're very proud of being in Tel Aviv. Oh and you'll love it. Just a quick snapshot of some key people that are changing the world in different fields. Um, as I mentioned earlier, our alumni are 200,000 strong and the international alumni are 15,000 strong. And these are people that are making an impact in their respective fields. I mentioned before some of our key rankings in business entrepreneurship, and you can see that here. We have people like, you know, Mobile Eye President, the VP of Google, the founder of Waze, um, the GM of Facebook. In addition to that, you also have people that perhaps are less well known, but, you know, just as successful like Yotamoto Lenge, who is a very famous Israeli chef and author with a couple of restaurants and um, uh, TV shows and, and cookbooks. In addition to Professor Anit Sachi, who developed a new way to treat and prevent melanoma through a nano vaccine. Um, and of course, you know, we're Israel's leading institution, so we have amazing links to industry through on-campus initiatives such as Remot, which is a business engagement center, and they identify, nurture, and transform our inventions into products. 
We have TAU Ventures, which is an academic venture capital fund that runs programs for early stage technologies and offers partnerships with leading companies. We have an entrepreneurship center run by professionals from the industry. We have Ignite by Collar, that's a student entrepreneurship club, and very much a community for students and alumni to explore entrepreneurialism. And also we have amazing events on campus every year, like annual Cyber Week and Artificial Intelligence Week. And these are really the, you know, the go-to events for cyber and AI. The entire week we have about 9,000 delegates coming from 80 countries, you know, cybersecurity experts, industry leaders, startups, investors, academics, diplomats, and government officials. We also have a couple of summer programs, um, the Cybersecurity Summer Program that actually incorporates participation in Cyber Week as well. So that's just to give you an idea sort of a macro level about the university if you didn't know much about Tel Aviv University before. Uh, before we get on to the actual program, I want to quickly mention funding as well. So we here at the International School, we have our own scholarship fund that we offer students um, from different areas, different regions. We also have scholarships just for sports uh, scholarships for, um, you know, um, elite athletics, elite athletes. We also have um, summer scholarships as well. So I do recommend you check them out on our website. They're all listed there. Um, in addition to that, we also have listed on our website um, external organizations like the Israel Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Massa. They often give scholarships and financial aid to students to, to come and study in Israel. Um, okay, I'm just going to quickly mention about the student life team because Jennifer will talk a bit about the trips and what's got planned. But I think, you know, in addition to the academic side of the programming, I think the student life team is one of the best reasons why you should come and study at Tel Aviv University. They're there to give students a nice soft landing. So when you come to us, you're not coming to a quote foreign country. They are there. They're all Israeli students. They're all study at the university and work for us as our madrachim. And madrachim is basically the Hebrew word for guide or counselor. And they're there to welcome you on our arrival day. They organize orientation. They live in the dorms with you. They're available 24 seven for any issues and support that you need. They'll also have events on campus and also day trips and overnight trips in Tel Aviv, Jerusalem in the north and the south. Uh, Jennifer will talk a bit more about the actual um, activity schedule for spring 2024. But they're very much there. So when you come to us, you you know, you very much join the family. And because they live in the dorms with you, you'll get to feel that sense of community. Um, and of course, talking about the dorms as well, of course, we have dorms on campus. They have security. There's health insurance. There's a doctor's office on campus. There's a food court and supermarket in walking dis within walking distance. You have laundry facilities. There's a small gym. So what we try and do in the dorms is keep all of the international students together. But at the same time, you're surrounded by Israeli students. So you get the best of both worlds, I think. Um, and they're just just adjacent to campus, so literally a five minute walk from the dorms um, to the to the entrance to campus. So that's a bit about the overview of Tel Aviv University for those who didn't know much about Tel Aviv University or Israel, and um, for that matter. Um, I'll pass over to Jennifer, who will actually go into more detail of the study abroad options we have available right now for spring twenty twenty four. Great, thank you so much, David. Um, so we are open for spring 2024 applications until October 15, so a little bit more than a month. These are the programs that we have available and I'll run through some of them individually. We have the Academic Gap Program for students who are pre-university, the Semester Study Abroad Program in the spring, the entrepreneurship and business program, and then the law program. So David, if you can go ahead to the next slide and I'll start running through some of these programs individually. So the study abroad um, academic gap program is basically for students who have completed high school and many students are coming from, you know, high schools where their high school might end in December or some students, you know, are doing a program in the fall and decide that they, instead of joining the university, that spring, they would like to join university the following fall and come for a semester or a year at Tel Aviv University and take some classes. So it's an opportunity to come. It's an opportunity to gain some insight into how to write papers, to take university level courses, to get credits transferred back to your home university. 
Basically, it's an opportunity to mingle with college students before you start attending college. So it's almost like a college to be type of program. And the students can choose from a variety of our courses. So it's a wonderful opportunity for our GAP students. What we do do is we actually um, provide for our GAP students the opportunity a little bit more extra in terms of um, you know, essay writing and things like that. We do have a learning center that can provide assistance to the GAP students um, in case they need when they're writing their college level essays, as this will be very new to them. Um, if you can next slide, David. The study abroad program is probably our biggest uh, semester program because it's the general program, which means that the students come and they start with a preterm OPAN, same as the GAP students. All of our semester students start with a preterm intensive OPAN for a month. Then they have a little bit of a break. And then they start taking classes from March until May. And they can take courses in a wide variety of, of uh, disciplines, psychology, philosophy, Middle Eastern studies, Jewish studies, business, languages, Hebrew, Arabic. Um, you name it, we probably have it. They also can take some courses from the BA program, and they also can take some courses from the BA business program. Um, so we do have a lot of things that are available to our students for the study abroad. And again, it's a very similar experience to the GAP, except our study abroad students are currently in university. So they come here for a semester, they take some of our classes, they get a chance to explore the city, explore the country, and explore Tel Aviv University and what it has to offer. Um, David, next slide, please. The Entrepreneurship and Business Program is a very interesting program because while it's very similar to the Study Abroad or Semester program, um, it's very condensed and focused into business and how business is conducted in Israel. So students are taking a variety of courses in business and negotiations, and then their electives can range from anything to business to other fields. So they could take any of the study abroad courses, but they do have to take two mandatory courses in finance and business negotiations. We also do additional things for the students, which is we visit the Perez Innovation Center, we visit our own VC fund. David spoke about it a couple of slides ago, the Tel Ventures. Um, this past year, the students got a chance to meet with two CEOs of startups that were created through the VC fund of Tel Aviv University. And they got to hear about how these CEOs built their companies and what they started with. And for a budding entrepreneur, it's great to see, okay, well, what do I need in order to get started? Now I've got a great idea and I think I know how to go about it, but what does it mean? How do I get my funding? And they really opened up about how that works here in Israel. And I think the students got a lot of benefit from it. So this is a very fascinating program. A lot of our students do this program and then they end up with our summer internship in the summer and they are placed in an internship program. David, next slide. Thank you. Okay, and the law program is basically the same version as the business program, except focused on law. It's for students who are undergoing um, a law degree or they're undergraduate law students. They want to focus on the legal department, the faculty of law. They want to take courses that have to do with anything legal. And we offer almost everything to the students, you know, and as I wrote here, intellectual property, contracts law, startup law, international law, difficult topics as well, um, you know, that we've seen about, about the different laws on uh, humanities and human rights and things like that. So I think that, that this is a very exciting program for students who are interested in the law. Um, our faculty of law is fantastic. It's one of the best in the world. Um, and they are very happy to take our students. Last year, some of our students joined um, the Entrepreneurship Center and they joined a legal tech course with Israeli students and they mixed together and they worked with them to create the international component of the course. So that was really um, interesting and very inspirational for the students. Keeping in mind that while our program dates for all the past programs I stated were the same, with the law, the courses are different. They are they have a three um, three timetables during one semester. Whereas our courses go from March through May, their courses may start in March and end in April, and then they have the second track that starts in April and ends in May, and so on and so forth. So students should keep that in mind. Next slide, please, David. 
And then, you know, David spoke to you a little bit about the student life team. So this is my opportunity to kind of share with you that while we have this amazing academic component and within the courses, the teachers take the students off campus or they may take them to museums or they may they just take them out of the classroom. They may bring lectures to the class. This is the academic part. And we're really focused on making sure that the students have a comprehensive experience. And so now we add the part that has to do with the student life team. Now, we wanna make sure that your students are safe and comfortable during their time here in Israel and at Tel Aviv University. Our student life team, or if you will, the Madrichim, they are students here. I was actually a Madricha when I was in college. And basically they run through a, a very strict training process to become a student life team member where they are there 24 seven to help the students. There is always somebody on duty. They are usually in the office from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. So students can walk in and ask their questions or come to them with their concerns and they help with anything. We've had students who have said, what bus do I need to take to get to Jerusalem? Hey, that's a valid question, right? Students who have said, you know, I need help making a doctor's appointment. I don't know how, also very valid. Um, we had students last year who wanted to organize an elat trip. And so they contacted our team and said, okay, how do we do that? And they and the student life team helped them. That being said, the student life team does offer as well opportunities and activities through them. For example, um, in November, our students are all going to the south. Um, so they will be going to En Gedi and they will be going to the Dead Sea. So, um, and then weekly, usually there are student life activities. They also do day trips to Haifa. They, we did a day trip with our student, uh, with our study abroad students, our, our semester students. We did a day, day trip to the Dead Sea. We took them to the Dead Sea Innovation Center of Tel Aviv University. They got to hear a little bit about the types of research that Tel Aviv University professors are doing in the Dead Sea in terms of climate, in terms of the animals, in terms of how to help Think about what happened, um, uh, you know, in, uh, I think it was in uh, Hawaii that happened a couple of months ago. Well, they went there and they heard a little bit about how they're using this whole climate change at the Dead Sea to help other countries that are dealing with fires and that are dealing with tsunamis and they're dealing with a different kind of climate change and it's affecting their ecosystem. So this is all incredible opportunities for our uh, study abroad students. And the student life team takes them on all of these activities. After that, students want a little bit more. We do have other external uh, um, you know, programs that we work with that are great and provide even more activities around Israel for our students. Uh, David, do I have a next slide? No? No, that's it. I so think that's just... it. So, so this was the, the, the information that I wanted to share with you guys. And I think you got a, a really great overview from, from David about what our university is about and what we offer to the students. And then you, you got an overview from me about the types of programs that we offer and how we help the students, not just academically, but personally as well and emotionally. And just to make sure that we have all the services available to them to make them happy um, while they're here on campus. So, David, if you have nothing Perfect. else. Perfect. Thank you so can... much, Jennifer. What Thank I'll you. do is I'll switch off the recording. So if anybody does have any questions, you're welcome to switch on your camera, switch on your mic, or if you prefer to put it into the chat, uh, please feel free. But I'll stop the recording now.